It's day three in Colorado. I had so much fun at the wedding yesterday. We are leaving Cripple Creek today. But look at our view here. We don't exactly have specific plans yet today, but I'm sure we're gonna do something fun. Follow me along. So in today's vlog, we are going to be going to many different casinos in this little casino town, Cripple Creek. And we're going to be trying to find who gives any new players members benefits, like $5 free play, a spin on a wheel, what do they have here in Cripple Creek? Century Casino like Hotel. No, that's not. That's at. VIP parking over to the well, right. I know where to park. We've lived in here. This okay. is my hometown. So I park right here. Oh my gosh. I lived here, man. We're right there. And I thought it was going to be like even taller than what we do. At the stop sign, turn right. We're about to go into Century. I'm walking, ladies. That me and Boston the other Oh, is that a camera? Just, yes, that's it's so cool. it kind of follows you. It's like Wally. <laughs> No, you're okay, thank you. We're in front of McGill's. We kind of just went in out of Century to see if they had any new players members benefits, but they didn't, so we're gonna make our way up and then come back down, I'm sure. Okay, on my first spin, I got into the feature. Up in Cripple Creek. Whoa! We got a mini and that's $10. Oh, does that one stay though? Yes. Yes. Or does it keep under here? Yes. Yeah, yeah, keep them rocking. So today's goal is locating what casino in Cripple Creek gives out free play, but I will contribute $5 to whatever machine they like to play. Ooh, she got a 20, the minor and the mini. That's 30 plus all the extras in there. She picked a good one. Three more spins, two more spins. So they didn't offer any free play. You have to spend, uh, get 100 points to get five or $10. But she picked a good machine, so she got some free play right here. Good job, Ab. She only spent it once. That was pretty good at McGill's, I guess. For 88 cents. They have Pokemon in there. Oh, in this little shop here. What do they mean? I don't think I want to Famous go Famous fudge. Oh, sorry. Just the aroma of this place made me walk in here. Like, we couldn't walk past. They do look really good. It smells so good in here, too. I've never seen that before. Oh, I've seen those. It's probably right. Really? Yeah. Alec has a little, she gave me a little jar of them. Oh, that's a cute little bookmark. This is the Kibler Elf House. Let me see this. Ooh, I don't have a shot glass for here. I probably should get one. Look, it's literally a shot in the glass. That's pretty clever. Hmm. Anywhere I go, if they have a penny press machine, I'm going to do it. One, because it's satisfying, and two, it's the best souvenir. If you know me, I'm a sucker for soaps, so I I have to get this one. It's only $6.99 for the goat milk soap. I haven't had a goat milk soap in like so long. Like literally, I don't know, it's been a few years. McGill's, Midnight Rose, and the Brass Ass all use the same casino cards, so that means no benefits at either three. Next up was the Colorado Grand Casino and Hotel. They did not have any free play as well, so we left. Wow. And it'll fit your wallet when you open your wallet next time. Yep, and you just roll around with it in there oh for like years, like mom. <laughs> Well, we started at like the bottom of this little hill and then we worked our way up and now we're kind of by, well, I don't even know where we're by. <laughs> we just left Maggie's, but we're going to make our way around, just go up the other side of the street, check out the little shops. 
So at that little store back there, I ended up getting two stickers and they were literally $1.99 per sticker. Cause I just asked her and they didn't have a price on her and she said, oh, $1.99, $1.99. I was like, oh, sweet. So I got a Cripple Creep one and then I got the cute dog one too. And of course I got the, the goat milk soap. Wait, Goats and oats. Smell yeah. this. It smells so good. Wait, you gotta show the best ones. Oh my gosh. The and then my mom got dinosaur They're rocks. So oh, oh that's not true. If anybody lives, loves saging. Oh my gosh. Oh. Athletically sourced and only $5. Is this my channel or theirs? <sighs> Go check them out <laughs> at Midwest Family Adventures. First entrance there. The double eagle is where we're headed yeah, next. The Double Eagle is the biggest casino. I mean, yeah, if you're just talking about like casino area, it looks like this one has like the best layout and it's the biggest. Then I signed up for a new player's card, saw if they had any new member benefits such as a spin of the wheel or a free $5. They didn't, but they were advertising all over town about this donkey derby. Oh my gosh, how adorable. At each hotel we go to, I still spend $5 even if there is no free play. Just stay around a little bit longer because there is one place in Cripple Creek that will give you free play. One place. There's also like a little uh, transit bus that they'll take you from stop to stop in case you don't want to walk or if you just you know, can't, you know, you can go on the trolley also. There's not, that's not the trolley back there. That's just the little transit, like, you know, from hotel to hotel. But they do have a trolley here, and I keep hearing it go off. Like a little choo-choo train or something. So, here is Bronco Billy's, the one place that actually gives you free play. Bronco Billy's is the only place that has actually given us $5 free play for new members. Just a fun fact. This is my free play. I spend it, I spend it twice. And then, yeah, I don't know. I think it might be like $10 or $20. Well, the first one was $10, then a $2, then a $2, $14. So it'll be like $15, I think. We'll see. It was $14.40. So that was my $5 in free play. I turned it into $15 real dollars. Bronco Billy's also does have like a, a three-tier floor thing, so it's not like, you know, there's just like five or six steps that separate them. Um, it does look like it's a bit longer with the amount of machines. I don't know. I still think that the other one that I said was the biggest, the Double Eagle, might have more machines, but I could be wrong. So Bronco Billy's, um, I won $15 off my $5 free play, and also they're split up into three different um gamble watch out mom three different gambling licenses so the different floors are how they split it up like the top two floors are one license the second two floors and then like the bottom two floors so so basically there's a little bit of information go in there and if you put your ticket in one floor and win some money and then you go to the next floor next floor and put your ticket in it won't work on that floor yes but yeah you have to stay on like the same two floors to be able to use that ticket to even put it in the machine because all machines are different. They have different licenses just so they can have more machines. So, Bronco Billy's. Look at this cute little trolley station stand. Waiting for the trolley. But, um, yeah, they did that so they could just have more machines. So, who has more machines? I'll look it up. Bronco Billy or the uh, Double Eagle? So I did a little bit of Googling and Double Eagle has 775 machines while Bronco Billy's has 800 plus. And if that's wrong, don't come at me, come at Google. We stopped at like one of the only gas stations in Cripple Creek to get, um, to get some food. Well, she just made a sandwich. Gas and roll. Wow. The chips on the sandwich. I don't usually do that. I don't even eat these chips. Put some chips on the sandwich. 
Mm -hmm. Throw some in there. Okay, how am I gonna put it in there? Just do that. Just do that? Wow. <laughs> Well, since we found out that Bronco Billy's was the only place in Cripple Creek that gave out free play for new members, we're now going to do some fun adventuring. It is a little bit rainy here, so I can't take too much footage. But apparently, this is the only way to Cripple Creek back in the day. Hmm. Was this the train then? Yeah, this is the only way to get up this mountain before they built that road. Scary. I know it does look very scary. It's creepy. Scary. If you'd like to see more of this, just go to our family YouTube channel at Midwest Family Adventures. Ooh, look, there's a trail up there. <laughs> if I had my tennis shoes on here, yeah. I could just change them, but it's already raining, so why would we want to do that? Look at the view across the street. Now, some people may call you crazy, but driving 13 hours, you do want to see views like this. Whether it's a little rainy, it just doesn't matter. It's so beautiful. And look at that. That's Cripple Creek right there. Those mountains. The Sonic is like wooden. They make McDonald's. It's like slightly like different, but oh my gosh. Okay, I should have took a video of, what was it back there? Arby's. Arby's looks super like wood cabin. Like this community bank. This is in Woodland? Woodland, Colorado. Yeah. We've just made it to our hotel room. We stopped and got some food. My parents got Panda Express and I got Dickie's Barbecue Pit. Yep. So that's what we're about to do. Let's go upstairs and eat. So, I'm just posting some stuff here from the past few days, and we're watching the Flintstones. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick shower and go to bed. See you tomorrow. If you have made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you so much for watching. I'm trying to hit my goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Until next time, bye! Love y'all!